If you are new to Stream Deck, or maybe you're not, but just feel like you could be getting more out of Stream Deck, then this video is for you. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and uh, this is actually Take Two Tech. I uh, just started rambling on and I obviously hadn't quite pressed my record button properly or I hadn't started recording. So uh, uh, yes, this is officially Take Two. <laughs> I don't know whether that's going to make it better or worse, but we'll find out. So this is the uh, fourth video in a series of videos I'm doing, which I've called The Beginner's Guide to Stream Deck. And uh, in video one, we took a look at uh, exactly what Stream Deck is and the various models that are available. Uh, in video two, we looked at how to get started with uh, setting up Stream Deck and adding in some basic uh, uh, actions and programming some buttons. And then in video three, we looked at how to incorporate some of the plugins to have some more sort of application specific actions. And in this video, what we're going to look at is how to make all those buttons look pretty and uh, start to actually uh, do something <laughs> with them to uh, add in icons. And uh, so that is what we're going to get straight into without further ado right now. Now, if you've watched those other three videos, uh, if you haven't, I'll leave a link to them in the description. But if you have, then this should look a little bit familiar because this is sort of where we left off before. And uh, what you'll notice is that we've got some uh, different icons on here uh, that have been added in automatically. So these sort of media control buttons automatically have this little volume up and down symbol. Uh, this one here was switching between headphones and our other speaker output. Uh, and the uh, built-in one for Ecamm Live also gives a little preview of the particular scene it's switching to. But these two here, I've just added in actually, are just simple hotkey actions. And as you can see, it's just a generic symbol. It doesn't really tell you exactly what it's doing. And because these can be hotkeys, they can do literally anything, then uh, that's obviously why it's a bit generic, because they don't know what you're going to do with it yet. So what we want to know is how can we add in icons to these? And I did actually discuss this on one of the previous videos, so you already know how to get an icon in there. But what I'm really going to focus on in this video is the various different places that you can actually get these icons and how you can get them into your Stream Deck. So first of all, let me talk about the easiest way, which is the uh, built-in Elgato way. And uh, so up at the top corner here, they have uh, linked to the store. Uh, there are some icons already built in that will be there when you first start. But if I just take you through to the store for a moment, uh, as I mentioned on a previous video, it's called a store, but it is totally free at the moment for everything that's in there. Maybe that will change in the future. I'm not sure, given that it's called a store. Uh, but here on the left hand side, you've got a little icon button. And so you can click on that. And then here you'll see a list of uh, groupings of icons. So uh, at the moment, you can see that this one says uninstall. That's because that little pack of icons has been installed. But you can go down and you can have a look uh, through all of these. If it's got a big red install button, it means it's something that can be added to your Stream Deck. And the ones, as I say, that say install are already there. So come down and have a little look at these. Uh, there's one there that I haven't got yet. So that is the Photoshop icon pack. So this would be a good one to do as a demonstration because I am quite a heavy Photoshop user. I've actually got a lot of icons that I made myself for Photoshop before uh, before version 5 came out. Uh, but I'll have a look in these because I dare say there'll be some in there that I haven't got that I'll need. So clicking on that, you can see this is the Photoshop icon pack and you can have a look. It says there are 70 icons in the pack and then I can come back up here and just simply click on install. By the way, these are from Sideshow FX. I happen to know that that's a very good resource for other icons. I'll talk about that shortly as well, but I'm just going to click on the install button. Uh, there we go. And that is now installing those little Photoshop icons into my icon library within my Stream Deck. So uh, let me come out of this for a moment. Uh, that is how we can add the uh, icons in. As I say, you can just click through these and have a look what other icons there are. You've also got some for Premiere Pro. I'll grab those while we're here. So I'll just double click on that single click. <laughs> so now I've got the Premiere Pro icon pack as well. And then I will come out of this moved over to one side in fact so now let's say I was wanting to uh, create a shortcut in here for the uh, uh, Photoshop pack that we've just downloaded uh, what I would do is where the icon is down here 
I would highlight the icon that I want to change and then just simply click this little plus button which is at the top left. Once again, if you haven't updated to software version 5, then do do that, otherwise this little plus button won't be there. And as you can see, this opens up the Stream Deck icon library. And what you'll find in here is there are a set of Elgato icons, the uh, sort of standard ones that come with it. One thing to bear in mind is Stream Deck was in, uh, originally designed for and by uh, streamers. So there is quite a heavy sort of live streaming influence in all of the, uh, the icons that come as standard. Uh, but fortunately, you can download these extra ones as well now. So if you come down here, uh, in fact, what I'll do is rather than go through all of the Elgato ones, I'll just little click this little arrow to collapse them. And then down here, you'll see that at the bottom, we have our Photoshop icon pack. So if I right click on that, then you can see that we've got all of these different Photoshop icons. So let's just say I was going to add the brush tool as a shortcut. There we go. Click on that. And now it has added the brush tool to that particular icon. So that is how easy it is to grab a set of icons. And uh, they do have Photoshop, Final Cut Pro, uh, Premiere Pro, uh, Affinity, uh, Designer, DaVinci Resolve, which I'm also having a little play around with these days as well. Uh, so DaVinci Resolve is another icon pack from this same, same producer as well. So that's how easy it is to just go and add in uh, little icons. There is another way to do it, which is if you happen to have a uh, set of icons, for example, that you've got from somewhere else or that you've just got an image that you want to use for the icon, then uh, let's say in this particular one, let's say I wanted to have uh, this icon. I've got a little icon file here and I can just drag it over and then that now has become the uh, image. So you can just simply drag and drop onto the uh, icons. One thing to uh, watch out is that you do actually drag it onto this bottom area here. Sometimes because it's highlighted, it would seem logical that you might be able to just drag it over onto the actual button itself, uh, but that doesn't work. It does have to be down to this little area down here. Uh, so whereabouts would you go about getting uh, icons to uh, just sort of drag and drop onto here? Well, there are a number of places. You could certainly do a search on the internet for uh, Stream Deck icons, but I would highly recommend that you actually try to make your own if you've got a little bit of time <laughs> and you want something quite specific because unless you are, for example, looking for Photoshop icons, then you've also obviously now got those built in. Uh, but sometimes if you're looking for a particular grouping of icons and you want them to all look the same and consistent and uh, a little bit pretty <laughs> to have that same look, it can be hard sometimes to get a whole group of icons that match and you know maybe you even want them in your personal favorite colors or company branded colors or whatever it might be uh, it can be hard to get them to match whereas it is very quick and easy to make them in keynote and i did do a video all about how you can do that and i'll link to that video uh, down in the uh, description and also up in the uh, top corner as well if i point to the right corner <laughs> uh, but uh, failing that if you want to actually uh, buy some icons there are a number of options uh, for you there as well i do have a store on my website where i have a couple of options so i've got a set of 3000 icons which is uh, basically it's actually 150 icons in 20 different colors so just to be perfectly clear about that and in fact these are the icons they look something like this so a range of different icons to cover various uh, different things and uh, so yeah you can have a look at those in the uh, the store and then i've also got a specific couple of groups of icons just for some little things that i've also done videos on about how i use stream deck but i'll link to those videos uh, down in the description as well but i do mention at the top of my store wait before you buy any icons, do give them a go to actually just create some yourself because it's very easy. <laughs> uh, now, if that uh, does not take your fancy and you've got a more specific use case, then uh, I mentioned those icons that were available in the store on the uh, Stream Deck store, the store that's free. <laughs> uh, they, they were done by Sideshow FX. Now, it's funny because I was actually turned on to this website by... Uh, uh, Doc Rock on one of his recent uh, live streams in the Ecamm community. By the way, if you're an Ecamm user and you're not in the Ecamm live community, you're really missing out. So much great value in there. Uh, so I highly recommend that. Just go to facebook.com slash groups slash Ecamm live. 
great group of people in there all striving to uh, to do the same great things and uh, all helping each other out. So yeah, you get lots of little tips from there. And that is where I find out about this uh, particular website, Sideshow FX. This has got a lot of really great uh, icons for, uh, so here you've got Ableton Live, Affinity Designer, After Effects, Audition, and all sorts of different applications, very specific sets of icons. And as you can see, they are just stunning looking and they work for Stream Deck, also for Loop Deck and uh, for other different uh, control services that you can get for ipad and uh, and whatnot so uh, yeah really uh, really great website i'd highly recommend going and checking those out as well uh, so that is another place that you can go and buy them uh, but do bear in mind don't forget to check the store first in uh, the uh, stream deck because like these ones adobe illustrator i've got a feeling that that is the exact same uh, set uh, or maybe it's maybe there's slightly more in here. Now, I thought it might be too good to be true. So they've got basically around about 70 or 80 that are free in the uh, Stream Deck store. But then if you want the complete set, then you can get them over here. Uh, and these are about $20 for the for the set for Adobe Illustrator. So uh, yeah, highly recommend uh, highly recommend this site. It's uh, it's really good for sort of application specific. Uh, uh, icons so that about covers uh different resources you know obviously just searching for them on the internet you, i'm sure you can find lots as well and so in terms of adding the icons in i've mentioned you can drag and drop you can also uh, uh select the file manually by clicking here so go into a search on your finder in your finder in your mac to find them uh, or you can simply click this open stream deck icon library which is the same thing that little plus key does the one thing i would probably avoid doing is uh, create new icon that option because what that does is it opens up the uh, stream deck uh, icon creator website uh, speaking as a former web developer <laughs> uh, this is not a very user friendly uh, website at all and uh, I think you can probably do a lot better with a simple uh, keynote presentation than this the whole uh, user interface of this I think is not good and the design freedom that it gives you is uh, very limited so uh, yeah as, a, as a, a bit of advice I would probably avoid uh, of that particular option there but that is how we can get some icons into our Stream Deck and make it looking a little bit more pretty. And incidentally, if I just come to uh, show you my profile of my main Stream Deck, the one that I'm actually using, uh, this is my setup that I've got at the moment. Uh, and as you can see, there is a sort of consistent look and feel to these. Uh, and I just made all of these in Keynote and it didn't really take me that long once I've got the... Uh, the, uh, the template, the layout, things like this, this little one that looks like a mobile phone, that's just a standard uh, pictogram in Keynote. Uh, so is the little presentation thing there, the little iMac. Uh, these are all standard things, the little camera. They're just standard pictograms that you can find in, uh, in Keynote. So that is how I made my icons. And then I set up another template and dropped in my application logos to create those. Uh, so it's really quite, um, quite straightforward to make icons really. And it doesn't take it take that long so I definitely advise giving that a go but that's my little lecture over <laughs> uh, I hope that you have found that uh, useful if you have found it useful then as always <laughs> then don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel and uh, also share this with anybody else who you think might find it useful as well uh, in the next video, I'm going to do a bit more of an in-depth look into the store, basically, that they have in the Elgato store and just cover all of those different uh, sections that they have. I did cover this already in my uh, version 5 upgrade, but I just wanted to include it in this sort of series to uh, touch on some of the things that I haven't talked about with it so far. And then that will be almost to the end of our little uh, journey <laughs> on our beginner's guide to Stream Deck. And then I'll start moving on to some slightly more advanced features that you may want to use and uh, get away from the sort of little demo screen that I had and show you a little bit more about how I am using Stream Deck to improve my productivity. So those videos are all coming up, but you don't have to wait for those because as ever, there's more great videos coming up next. Until the next time, have a great day.